Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Ask William. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Commodore 64 modern retro release otherwise known as the C64 Mini. Before I do the unboxing let me give you a little bit of insight about the Commodore 64 and how it became the world's best-selling home computer of all time. Follow up to its predecessor the VIC-20, the Commodore 64 was released in January 1982. Other than its predecessor the Commodore 64 was named after its 64 kilobytes of RAM supporting multicolor sprites and a custom chip for waveform generation. In layman's terms, it was a very powerful home computer with amazing sound and graphics that anybody could afford. All ex Commodore 64 owners will tell you that simply seeing a picture of this unit is enough to feed the nostalgia inside you for months. I remember as a nine-year-old my father bringing this unit into the living room. Little did I know that this computer would change my life forever. Many programmers and gamers from that era will admit that the Commodore 64 was their introduction to computers and later branched out to many facets of their current lifestyle. But somewhere along the line, the machine and all of the games got lost. Now fast forward 36 years into the future and I introduce to you the C64 Mini. This is a scaled down version of the original Commodore 64, complete with 64 classic games pre-installed and an exact replica of the famous C64 joystick. Alright, let's get to the unboxing. Seeing the box for the first time immediately takes you right back to 1982. The pure excitement of seeing this familiar shape and the joystick after so many years brought back so many childhood memories. Do prepare yourself for a little bit of a shock. The size of the packaging does not reflect the size of the unit at all. You might even think that they blew up the picture of the joystick to fit on the actual packaging, but this is the actual size ratio. That said, the packaging for this computer is absolutely amazing. Although it says C64 and not Commodore 64 on the front, you are immediately blown away by the array of colors and the big red label displaying 64 games included. It's at this point that you have to forget everything you remember about your old Commodore 64, because this one has been adapted for the modern age, as it clearly says on the side of the box, HDMI HD connection as well as two USB ports. Now, there's only one joystick, why two USB ports? Be patient, we'll get there in a second. On the back there's an example of the games included in the unit. If you are looking for all your old C64 titles, this unit is not for you. As a matter of fact, I only found 17 titles that I recognized. So I don't think I'm going to be spending too much time playing these games again. Once the outer box is removed, you are greeted with an extremely good looking inner box. This inner box is so good looking that I would advise you to keep it and display it somewhere on a shelf in your man cave. Once you open the box, you are greeted with this tiny C64 that resembles a toy rather than a replica of the original. You are greeted with a 2.1 scaled down version of the original and a full version of the joystick, neatly packed underneath a solid protective plastic. The 64 Mini comes in its own well-branded mini box. Underneath the main unit you will find a 1.2 meter long HDMI cable as well as a 1.2 meter long USB power cable. Now for those of you that's been living in the dark ages, also included is the user manual and of course the full size joystick. Getting back to the main unit, I don't care how everybody's disappointed in the size or the age color not being exactly that of the original, I absolutely love this unit. I don't even have to plug it in, I could just put it on my desk and stare at it for hours. Even as a paperweight, I don't care, this unit is absolutely perfect. Spoiler alert, the keyboard on this unit is for display purposes only, it does not work. If you want to type in some commands or program in basic, you can do so by attaching a USB keyboard into one of the USB slots provided on the side. On the side you will find an on off button, rather than the on off switch that was provided with the original. You will also find two USB connections that replaces the old Atari type connections on the 1982 model. The power unit is now on the back, next to the HDMI connection, unlike the original power connector that was on the side. If you have two joysticks, connect them, or just use the one supplied in the box. Connect your monitor or TV via the HDMI port at the back, using the 1.2 meter HDMI cable provided. The only negative thing I found out is that there's no power adapter included in the box. I know that space and cost was a big issue with this unit, but it would have been nice just to have a little tiny power brick included in the box. Once you have everything plugged in, get ready to hold down the power button and to see that familiar nostalgic power light that's been missing in your life all these years. 
Now you can sit back and relax and transport yourself back to 1982 as you enjoy the Commodore 64 Mini with its 64 pre-installed games. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. From me, William, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.